This week's Portion Vogue gives us an amazing eye-opener into how God operates with us, so to speak. On Rosh Chodesh Nisan, in that year, that glorious year when we left Egypt, the first day of the month of, of Nisan, God commanded Moses and Aaron to command the Jewish people to observe the laws of Pesach. And at that time, it included the the laws of bringing a Pesach sacrifice, a Pesach offering on Erev Pesach, the 14th day of the month of Nisan. And the details were given for eating matzah and eating bitter herbs and uh, how exactly that first Seder was to be performed. And the Torah says, after listing and after giving all the details, and after Moses and Aaron tell the people all the details, the Torah says they went ahead and, do, and did it. And the, the Jewish people went ahead and did exactly as Moses and Aaron had said. So, of course, there's a there's an obvious gaping question here. How could the Torah say they went ahead and did it? Because this is all taking place on the first day of the month. They're supposed to do it, implement it on Erev Pesach, the 14th day of the month. How can you say, how can the Torah say they went ahead and did it? Yet the Torah says those words, Vayel Chuvayasu, they went ahead and did it. So the great commentary Rashi explains, brings a medrash and says that because they committed to do it and desired to do it from the depths of their heart, God considered it as if they did it. An amazing concept about how God works with us. God looks for our heart. This is the power of the heart, the power of our desire. If our desire to do a mitzvah is so strong, then God considers it as if we did it. Of course, we have to do everything at that in our in our power to go ahead and bring it to fruition. But this teaches us the power of heart. And Rabbi Aaron Cutler, of blessed memory, explains that that. There, once God considers it as if we did it, that it injects within us a power, a special light to go ahead and, and, and to merit to be able to perform, to be able to bring it into fruition. So how can we apply this concept? First of all, the power of the heart, the power of desire in, in, to do a mitzvah and if, if we really felt and understood the power of our hearts, then let's say before we go ahead and pray for a mincha, a shachris, a morning service, before I say benching, grace after meals, if I stop to think, oh, I really want to do this, and I really want to do this well, and I really want to connect to God, that in itself is so powerful. And if we do it, then if we think that way, then of course that benching, that, that prayer will be so much more powerful. Rabbi Aaron Cutler suggested to do the same thing with the study of Torah. Just to commit, just to say, before I study, oh, I just, I really want to understand this. I really want to understand this. From the depths of my heart, I really want to understand it. And then God will inject with the, first of all, God will consider it as if we studied. And then God will inject into us a special power and a special gift to be able to actually bring it into fruition. Rahmana Liba boy. This is what the Talmud says. God wants our heart, is looking for our heart. We've got, we have a heart. We as Jewish people, we have amazing hearts. Let us capitalize on that pad, on that gift, that amazing heart that we have within us and propel ourselves to, to, to amazing mitzvah performance and amazing, beautiful connection to God. Have a beautiful Shabbos. Thank you.